One surprise for me, um, Tim Payne was certainly a surprise selection, uh, no doubt about that. I, I think Peter Neville certainly has been the unlucky one in all of this. Obviously Matthew Wade was the incumbent, but uh, unfortunately for Matthew, he hasn't made enough runs uh, to probably maintain his spot. But I, I really thought the selectors would go back to Peter Neville because I thought he was unlucky this time last year uh, when they had a bit of a clean out and he was part of it. So he's unlucky, um, but obviously they've had Tim Payne around the, the T20 side and they've and they've brought him back in because they feel he's in form. Yes, well, the selectors were very clever in keeping Tim Payne under the radar. Um, I heard he, uh, good reports of him in Bangladesh, so um, the selectors have known what they're going to do more than even Peter Neville and him, probably. Um, so he won't let us down. They've gone, they've gone with for specialists. They've gone, they've picked uh, their top six batsmen, specialist batsmen, not concerned about the all-rounder. Uh, and they've probably gone for who they feel is the best gloveman, not concerned about Tim Payne's um, battings. I do like the fact that the selectors have picked form players, though. I think Bancroft's a form selection and a bold selection. So I think, well done. He's knocked the door down. And unfortunately for Matty Renshaw, he hasn't made enough runs. So they've made that decision now before a ball's bowled to give Bancroft a good opportunity, so so good luck to him. Uh, Cameron Bancroft's a great selection. Uh, that we need to get a performance culture going in Australian cricket. So perform and you get in, uh, perform and you stay in. Um, you, you know, it's not a club, it's a representative team. So, uh, and, and Sean Marsh has been there before. I'm sure he's probably going to be playing as if this is his last chance to. Uh, and Sean Marsh is the other one. I just think with Sean Marsh at number six, Australia wanted someone with a bit of solidarity there. We know that Sean's had his issues with injuries and, and staying in the side, but when he has played, particularly in recent times, he's done well. I think at the end of the, end of the day, any time you pick a team as a selector or, or a captain, you're judged on results. So I, I think the selectors with Steve Smith have probably got together and worked out um, what he's comfortable with. I think they've made tough decisions, bold ones up front, and said this is, we, this is the side that we believe is the most informed side to beat England and we're going to pick it. So I, I like it.